Good morning, guys. I thought I'd film a little video. I did this as a podcast episode as well. But the primary reason I'm coming to you with this video is this little cup here. And more importantly, what's in it? Because there is coffee in here. And if you've been following me for the last year or so, you know that I've been caffeine free. And the goal was to be caffeine free for a year. Me, maybe very much like yourself, relied on caffeine for years and years on end, like drinking way too much caffeine. And I think it became almost an addiction towards the end where if I didn't have that cup in my hand, I just didn't think that I could focus. And I ended up getting really sick, not because of the caffeine. Uh, I got two viruses. Uh, luckily, it wasn't the COVID virus or anything like that. But and the smell and taste of coffee made me want to vomit, like literally. Um, if my wife, now, at the time my fiancé, was making coffee, I literally wanted to throw up. If I sat with someone who was drinking coffee in the office, I wanted to throw up. If I was out with a client or a lead for one of the businesses, I literally felt really ill and sick. You get the gist. And so I went cold fucking turkey um, and I felt amazing. Like the, the benefits were just absolutely insane. I didn't get the withdrawal period because I was sick anyway, which was kind of nice. Uh, so I didn't know whether it was because of the virus or the lack of caffeine that I was actually getting headaches and shit like that. <laughs> but overall, sorry if it was really loud, we live close to an airport, so... Um, it's loud sometimes. But anyway, I went cold turkey and the benefits started showing up immediately. I didn't get that afternoon crash. I stayed focused and energetic till about 8 or 9 p.m. at night. There wasn't any issues with focusing. I, my mind was clear. I could think and think about multiple things at the same time and, and get good results with that as well, which is... I'm, like literally unheard of for me and I think most people as well. So that was that and my performance at you know jiu-jitsu, I'm an avid jiu-jitsu practitioner. I do that four or five times a week so at the moment being at home with COVID it's fucking killing me. Um, I don't have it but I have to be home and I'm not allowed to hug and wrestle my fellow men and you know put people to sleep which is really annoying but at the end of the day, my performance there went up, my performance in the gym went up. Uh, weirdly, I could see muscle growth that I haven't seen for a while. I really started filling out. I, I'm still speculating on, on why that might be. I'm thinking down the recovery path more than anything else. That could be, that could be you know, a possibility. Um, so overall, guys, I saw a lot of benefits. You know, I haven't scripted this video or anything. I'm just talking to you about this. And recently I thought, hang on. You know, we were going to have a honeymoon in Italy. Italy's in lockdown. That's not going to happen. And that was my goal. I was going to have, you know, an espresso at the Piazza in Italy as my first, you know, batch of caffeine in a year. And I was going to go crazy because I was going to have you know a double espresso in Italy you know my favorite drink my favorite place in the world so I thought that was a good idea with the favorite person in the world my wife but that went to shits so I decided to do a little science experiment and, and stay true to the scientist inside myself so my hypothesis was that I would start drinking caffeine just one cup a day in the morning, no caffeine after 1 p.m., and I would feel more focused and more energetic than I have in the last year. That has not been the case. My allergies have flared up. I'm getting a crash around 2 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and it's not the biological crash that a lot of people experience. You know, we all tend to get a bit tired around the 2 or 3 o'clock mark, biologically but it's it's not that I'm, I'm crashing drastically in terms of energy I need a nap 
or I need a cold shower and I need to go for a walk and move. If not, I'm literally just going to fall asleep um, in front of my computer or on the phone or teaching or whatever it might be. So that, that was the first thing I noticed. Allergies and then energy levels. It doesn't really do much for me. Focus wise, it, it's nothing different. It still tastes good. It's amazing. But other than that, it hasn't really done much for me so far. My gut has started flaring up again. If you've been following me for a while, you know that my past has been, you know, in and out of hospitals with a lot of medications and things like that. And that's put its toll on, you know, my gut, my immune system and things like that. So overall, my gut started flaring up again. I've had issues with constipation, feces haven't been, you know, you know, of a normal consistency, so to speak, as blunt as that might sound. And overall, it hasn't been a very pleasant experience. But true to the scientist inside myself, it's been, you know, seven days. We're going to do another seven days to really see how we feel, to to have a marked, you know, I suppose a longer period of time with, with you know, more markers and things to, to measure this off. So overall, that's really where we're at. We're not noticing anything majorly positive as much as caffeine can have, you know, really good benefits for, you know, endurance training, strength training, not so much strength training, it's more towards the endurance realm, to be completely honest. So if you do sports like wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, marathon running, you know, long distance cycling and things like that, we know that caffeine can improve in performance quite a bit. We also know that caffeine can improve recovery together with carbohydrates and protein. And, you know, it can improve things like fat oxidation, the re release of fatty acids into the bloodstream for the use of fuel, use as fuel as well. So caffeine, you know, does have, of course, some benefits. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But what I'm saying and sharing with you is that it's nothing magical either. I think a lot of people have been, you know, just blindly listening to these supplement companies and things like that and just smashing caffeine. But after a while, there will be a point in time where that caffeine is going to do very little for your body. So until the final video next week where you're going to see, you know, some research coming in here and there and on the screen here somewhere, and, and we're going to make some more steadfast conclusions, uh, I highly recommend that you try going without caffeine for a while. You can go cold turkey if you can deal with the headaches and things like that. Or you could just start, you know, stepping it down to half strength and caffeine free kind of stuff for a week before you go cold turkey. At least try to decrease the amount of, um, you know, caffeine that you consume on a daily basis. That's only going to be beneficial for your long term anyway. That's it. And if you got any questions, comments, queries, you know where to put them and I will see you next week.